Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is part three of my Country Road series and this is also going to be the final part. In this video we're going to add the wildflowers and add the wire to the fence, do the final highlights on the road and the trees, and just do all the final little touches that we need to finish this painting. If you're following along traditionally, check out part one in this series where I have a list of all my brushes and materials, canvas, all those things that you'll need to paint traditionally. We're going to be using Art Rage 5 and this is going to be painted on my Surface Pro 3. And here I'm going to start highlighting some of the mud clumps and the rocks that are in the road. And you can use the bristle round brush in RH5 or you can take your short script brush or a number three round brush if you're following along traditionally and just start putting on the highlights of the rocks. And I'm using cadmium orange with some white mixed in with it. Just try to use a dry brush stroke if you're following traditionally which is a just don't put much paint on your paintbrush and just kind of smudge it out with your finger. Here this bristle round gives kind of a really nice effect like that. And you just want to try to get some idea of some mud clumps and rocks on the side of the road here. Try not to make them all the same shape. Try to make them some smaller, some larger. Just kind of vary them a little and let the underpainting, which is the darker painting, come through a little bit. Don't cover up all the dark. And just go ahead and make the rocks smaller as you go off into the distance of the road, but still add little indications of this light orange color that makes it look like there's dirt clumps and rocks that are on the side of the road. And then go ahead and add a little bit of that in the middle of the road just kind of bring it out and add this across the road a little bit this color just to give it some highlights there like it's a dirt road and there's it's uneven and then you go ahead and add some tire tracks here like it was muddy or it just rained and so there's tire tracks you can use dark umber for that or burnt umber and just go ahead and smudge it in a little bit and I'm using the hard out smudge that's my favorite smudging brush because it's pretty close to a naturalistic look when you're smudging with your fingers so here I'm just smudging in the highlights a little bit on the rocks making them look a little bit more natural and smudging across the road keep the lines horizontal across your road again we want them to be horizontal because if they look vertical it'll look like it's falling off your picture and it won't fit right and then go ahead and sort of work on the tire tracks make them jagged a little bit and just go ahead and and smooth them out a little too make it look like there's dirt across them and that just sort of gives it a naturalistic look Next we want to use our dry clumps brush and just bring up some of the grass in between the mud clumps and the rocks and just make it look like the grass is growing along the edge of this country road here and bring in some of the grass a little bit on the side of the road on the outside by the tire tracks and just go ahead and use the dry clumps brush to bring up clumps of grass here and you can match it to the colors of the grass so in the corner the grass will be darker and then as you go towards the middle ground of your painting it's going to be a lighter green and then as you go towards the horizon you still want to add little sprigs of grass but they're going to be a lot smaller and less detailed and you want those to be a phthalo yellow green or sort of a light green and you can add the light green towards the the bottom just to give some contrast there like there's some light peeping through the clouds and and hitting the grass right there and, and glinting off the grass a little bit 
here I'm sort of smudging in the bottom of the clumps so that they look more natural and just go ahead and, and keep doing that and working on the grass along the side of the road. Here I'm going to use my Bristle 7 brush just to add a little bit more highlights to the road here. Add some more uh, dirt clumps and rocks a little bit back into the grass there just so that it looks like you can see those poking through the grass a little bit. You can do this with your round brush or your short script brush. If you're following along traditionally, just use a little bit of the highlight color, some cadmium orange or some light burnt sienna mixed with white. Just kind of do some touches on the road and, and kind of add a little bit more of some dirt clumps looking along the side of the road. And then we also want to give it a little bit of a gravel look. So here I was searching for a, bu a brush that would give me a, a gravel look and so I found the Particles Snow 2 brush which is really good and it gives you a, a little gravel look and if you're following along traditionally take an old toothbrush, dip it in some really thinned out paint and flick it on your canvas and use the light highlight color and also use some dark umber color and that just gives you light and dark gravel and just flick it on your road some of it on the tire tracks just a little bit towards the end of your road not a lot but just a little bit to give indications of gravel and here I'm going to highlight the fence posts and again our light is coming from the left side so you want to go ahead and take some cadmium orange light and I'm using the dry clumps brush and I'm making just jagged strokes and I'm highlighting all the way into the distance and you just kind of have to be careful to keep your strokes thin enough and here I'm also adding some really thin strokes on the rocks just to give it kind of the final highlight here and again I'm just using the cadmium orange mixture with white acrylic gesso just a really light dirt color sort of and I'm just doing the final little highlights on the rocks here just trying to give indications of rocks peeking up out of the dirt and also old mud clumps that have been thrown up by the tires and then you want to start doing the detail on your grass. And for your grass, you need to take your long script brush and make a thin inky mixture of your paint and use a lighter color for the grass that's in the dark corners here because we want the details of this grass to show up. So this is going to give a detailed look to your grass and then as you go off into the distance where you get into lighter grass use a little bit of a darker green color and you want to go ahead and do this on both sides of the road also put some of these thin individual strands of grass in the road just to give it a look of that the grass is sort of growing along the edges put some in the middle where it would be straddled by the ruts Go ahead and put some darker into the distance, but don't put it all the way into the distance and don't put very many. We just want a few suggestions there so that it looks like there's some detail to it, but this is the middle ground so it won't be as detailed. And put it around your trees and your twiggy bushes because you want to set those down, make them look like they're in the grass and not floating above it. The next thing you want to do is add in a little bit of some shadows behind the tree. And we want these to be just kind of di not distinct shadows, but just an indication in the grass. So I'm using a little bit of purple and then smudging it in. And you can do this with your number six flat brush. And I'm using all the, the blending brushes, the frosting brushes, because they really smudge out the the shadows and the color there and I don't want it real distinct looking but I do want an indication of a shadow there and so I'm doing this behind the fence posts as well 
and again our light source is going to be from the left side so you want to go ahead and put the shadows behind the posts corresponding to where your light source will be and then just go ahead and and sort of dab that in and then here I'm highlighting the twiggy branches there on the little bushes and I'm using cadmium orange the same color that I used for the tree then I'm adding a hint of some leaves on these bushes and I'm using the rough foliage brush you can use your number eight filbert and just tap in some indications of some green color some orange color we don't want it real detailed we're just trying to give indications of leaves and then I'm darkening the the shadow a little bit on the big tree just to make it stand out better and give it a little more detail and then the next thing we need to do is add the wire on the fence and so you'll take your long script brush if you're following along traditionally and use a very thin very dark mixture maybe ultramarine blue with burnt sienna and just kind of draw in the strands of the fence and make sure that they're not solid you want them kind of broken looking just because it will look like there's glints of light on the fence as you as the lights hitting it here I'm working on the road just a little bit working on the shape dragging up the grass a little bit along the edges trying to get it to look just a little bit more in perspective there and you, you go ahead and, and drag the grass up along the edges and that will help make it settle down into the painting and not look like it's floating or something. And I'm working a little bit more on the bark of the tree, adding a little bit more of the final highlights and you can use your short script brush for this. And you just want some rough, rough looking strokes on here. You don't want a great big solid line because that won't look right. So just keep your, your strokes really short and rough. And then now we need to add the wildflowers. And so what you do to add wildflowers is I found the dots brush and in the textures brush, but you can use your bristle brush and just get some paint on the end of it and tap it on your painting and make sure that the bristles splay out real good and look sort of jagged and you can use all your different colors you can use alizarin crimson take some cadmium yellow some ultramarine blue throw in dioxazine purple just add a whole bunch of different colors here that are like wildflowers and then you can make a few in the front that look a little bit more detailed I'm using the particles brush because it's making bigger particles but you can take your short script brush and just make short little strokes that give the indications of some more detailed flowers but we don't want them real detailed in this picture we're just trying to get a indication of flowers and then you want to go ahead and add indications in the back with some white probably cadmium orange with a little bit of white and add the branches to the trees in the back but you don't want them to be real prominent so kind of smudge them out just give indications in the back there then if you're satisfied just go ahead and sign it and call it done so this is the end of my country road series I really enjoyed testing out all the new Art Rage 5 brushes and they really have some neat new brushes and some neat new features in this new release so thanks everybody for watching and stay tuned for a brand new series that will be coming out very soon. Thanks everybody for your support. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below and I will catch you later.